What is good? Here goes another video. So again, Twitter X will always keep me with fresh content, for real, for real. Again, shout out to Renee. Renee made a really good point to me um, on Twitter. <coughs> or, excuse me, <clears throat> X. Okay? And that point is, you see a lot of bisexual men complaining that heterosexual women are not interested in dating them, and that's biphobic. And that biphobia and homophobia, you know, is rooted in why heterosexual women don't date them or don't want to date them. And yet, at the same time, how come bisexual men don't date other bisexual men? How come trans people don't date other trans people? I'm just saying, and when I say this, and I'm, and granted, yes, obviously, there are bisexual men that date other bisexual men. There are trans people who date other trans people. There's trans women that date trans men, trans men that date trans women, trans women that date trans women, trans men that date trans men, intersex people that date intersex people. Obviously, there are those of us that do that, but when you hear the constant back and forth about, well, cisgender people don't want to date trans people and how come they don't date trans people or straight women don't want to date bisexual men <clears throat> when you hear this back and forth rhetoric it does i mean yes there is definitely validity in what people are saying biphobia homophobia transphobia definitely plays a role in where our preferences are coming from and at the same time why are you going to people who do not want you in the first place? Why not go to people that actually want you? So for my bisexual men, go and date other bisexual people. Go date other bisexual men. What is the point of getting upset and angry at somebody for not wanting to be with you when they don't have to be with you? And I'm saying this as an intersex trans man who happens to be gay. Nobody has to be with you. You cannot sit up here and con your whole, every time you turn around, your whole argument is straight women don't want me. Cis people don't want me. And I don't think that's fair. And blah, 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 blah. And granted, it is trashy when you are not that person's preference. It is trashy that a lot of our preferences are rooted in ignorance and bigotry. And at the same time, why do you want to be with people who don't want to be with you? I'm just being real. We be creating our own problems, in my opinion. We don't, I mean, what is the purpose of arguing with a heterosexual woman who doesn't want to date a bisexual man? And then listen to what you're saying. Yes, it's bigoted, it, you know, it's rooted in ignorance and bigotry and closed-mindedness, okay? Biphobia is real, homophobia is real, transphobia is real. And at the same time, it's kind of obvious if she's heterosexual, she's probably going to want to date other heterosexual men. So why are you tr getting mad at her for having her preference? I mean, and how is that? And then also I'm about to go there. How is that any different than gay men who refuse to date women? Are we going to call them heterophobic because they don't want to date women? This is why I mean, like, when you have these conversations, we really need to look at the nuances because it's so complex and more than one thing can be true. But when you sit down and look at what you're saying, you're upset that a particular demographic is not interested in being with you. And they don't have to be with you. And why would you want to be with somebody that doesn't want to be with you? I mean, literally, it's time for us to kind of listen to what we're saying. Because we don't even be making sense half the time. I'm just being, in my opinion, we don't be making sense half the time. Okay, as a trans person, and I'm going to say this, I know trans people who don't want to date other trans people. Make that make sense. 
I know bisexual women who don't want to date bisexual men. Make that make sense. And that's what I mean by this is where when, when heterosexuals come back and say, well, how do you want me to accept you when you don't even accept yourself? Or when cisgender people come back and say, how do you want me to accept you when you don't even accept yourself? Granted, it's a straw man argument because you're literally deflecting and word salad and tossing shit up. And at the same time, there is some truth to it. You don't even accept yourself. You don't even want to date other trans people and you're trans. Where's the logic in that? You're complaining that nobody wants to date you, but you don't even want to date other people that are like you. So obviously, if you're putting cisgender people obviously on this high ass pedestal to the point that you don't even want to date other trans people and you're trans, there is something wrong. Same thing with bisexual men. You're putting heterosexual women on a pedestal, but yet you're not trying to date other bisexual men. And then bisexual women, you're putting heterosexual men on a pedestal because you're not trying to date other bisexual men or other bisexual women. Because like literally you have bisexual women who are also complaining that lesbians are not interested in dating them. <laughs> and again, somebody that is a lesbian is probably going to want to be with another lesbian. Somebody that is homosexual, gay, is probably going to want to be with another gay person. It's not to say that a, a lesbian couldn't be with a bisexual or a gay man couldn't be with a bisexual. But you get where I'm going with this. So why aren't you dating within your own group is beyond me. Because literally, what are we talking about? Same thing with trans people. I know a lot of trans people who refuse to date other trans people. And also, another thing that, shout out to Renee, that Renee pointed out is, a lot of these situations boil down to sex. Because what it boils down to is, a lot, in her, from her standpoint, there are a lot of bisexual men who are cis hetero romantic. So in other words, a lot of bisexual men like having sex with men, but they're not interested in having a romantic relationship with a man. Okay. Just like you have a lot of bisexual women who like having sex with women, but they're not interested in having a romantic relationship with a woman. You have a lot of trans people, they may hook up sexually with another trans person, but they're not interested in being romantically involved with a trans person. There's a lot going on here, which brings me to my point. Sexuality, gender, gender identity is very complex because a lot of people don't understand Sexual and physical attraction is not always going to equate to romantic relationship attraction. A person can be romantically relation, uh, want to be in a romantic relationship with a man and prefer to sleep around with women. A person can be sexually attracted to men and prefer to be in a romantic relationship with a woman. A lot of people don't understand that. They still are, you know, hell bent on you're only straight or gay or only cisgendered. When it's really more complex than that, it is a spectrum. And as you are, and as more and more people are starting to recognize and see for themselves, more people fall in the middle somewhere than they do all the way to the left or all the way to the right. You know what I'm saying? And again, People have every right to have their preferences. You cannot force people to date you. You cannot force people to want to be with you. And at the same time, we do need to start unpacking why we have the preferences that we have. Why we pick the people that we pick. 
I'm just being honest because a lot of us have these archaic beliefs and just downright close-minded, bigoted preferences. And then the vast majority of us are not, we don't even end up with our preferences. So it's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, Does your preference even find you attractive? Does your preference even have you as a preference? Like that really needs to be something that we start questioning ourselves when we're complaining about shit because a lot of us just get on here to ramble and moan, but yet we're not examining how we are showing up and our own actions and our own behaviors and our own ideologies and perspectives and opinions. Like, let's just look in the mirror as a trans person, as an intersex person, I am used to cisgender people not being interested in me romantically, yet hitting me up on these different apps to do things sexually. I don't really get upset anymore when cis people are not interested in being with me because it is what it is. I mean, after a while, what am I gonna get upset about? It's, it's basically come to be expected that there are going to be cisgender people who are not interested in being with an intersex trans man. They'll hook up with you, they'll use you as a sex toy, which brings me to my next point. A lot of times people sexualize and fetishize people. So like, let's be real. There's a nice portion of bisexual men that sexualize and fetishizes men. There's a nice portion of bisexual women that sexualize and fetishize women. There's a nice portion of cisgender people that sexualize and fetishize trans people. But when it comes to being in a loving, healthy, open, public, romantic relationship, emotional connection, it's just not there. And they're never going to do that with you. And there are cisgender people that are romantically involved and sexually attracted to trans people. And there are bisexual women who will become romantically involved with lesbian women. And also just because a bisexual is in a heterosexual presenting relationship doesn't mean that they're all of a sudden heterosexual. It just means that that relationship is heterosexual they can still be a bisexual person and be in a heterosexual relationship. Same thing with a bisexual can be in a relationship with a lesbian and still be a bisexual. Now the relationship can be a lesbian relationship, but that person is still bisexual. Okay? A bisexual man can be with another man in a romantic relationship. That relationship is gay, that relationship is homosexual, but he is still a bisexual man. So that's what I'm saying. Like another portion of this is that I feel like for some of us, we're trying to, we want people to understand our, you know, our terms, our titles, our pronouns, our sexuality, but then in the same breath, we don't want to understand other people's titles, pronouns, and sexuality. Or gender and then we're always all of us are always complaining about you know you can't force me to do this and that but yet you're trying to force other people to do this and that like listen to what we are saying and doing to ourselves and to each other that's all i'm saying you know me on psych perspectives geo fucks i really want us to start thinking outside of the box checking our own bullshit and being accountable because literally when you listen to us it's just kind of like what what are you talking about? <laughs> like, listen to what you're saying. That's all I'm saying. Listen. Listen, Linda. Listen to what you're saying. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, it's late. I'm supposed to be meeting up with some friends. I don't know where we're going. And I may not even be meeting up with them because honestly, I'm ready to go to sleep. I've been up all day. You know what I'm saying? Working. Side hustle. Come back. Do take care of my dogs, and then heading back. You know what I'm saying? Non-stop. So I'm ready to go to bed. But check the comments. Leave your comments. Leave your feedback. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Shout out to Renee. And I'm out.